Hey everybody, welcome back to Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit subscribe, join Ninja Nation, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Josh Winkowski, because I love pitchers with win in their names. And he did win. He had four strikeouts in five and a third innings with these nasty sliders. Logan Webb had six strikeouts in six innings with no earned runs, thanks to his nasty slider and change-ups. He even brought Joey Votto to his knees with a change-up, which gave me this great idea. I think if a pitch brings you to your knees, you should have to crawl back to the dugout on your knees, which Votto almost does. Adrian Sampson had five strikeouts in five innings and had this nasty slider, but he was outdueled by Miles Michaelis, who had nine strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run, had these beautiful curveballs, and here's an overlay of his curveball and fastball, and you can see how much that curveball drops. Lance Lynn didn't have a great outing, but he had a really entertaining outing. I loved his crotch grab strikeout jig. I mean, it's probably because his ball stuck to his pants, but I like to think of it as an intentional crotch grab. And once again, Lynn striking out the last hitter of an inning is must-watch baseball. Lynn explodes like an expletive firework. We watch baseball to be entertained, and Lance Lynn uses the mound like his stage. He was outdueled by Spencer Watkins, who had this filthy curveball. Josiah Gray had nine strikeouts thanks to his nasty breaking balls. Chris Archer had five Ks in five innings, giving up no runs and only one hit, and had his filthy slider and changeup. Logan Gilbert struck out seven in five and two-thirds innings thanks to his fastball and slider, and I love his K strut on this fastball. It's like dismissing the hitter with his waving arms. Zach Eflin may have only had three Ks, but did have this pretty two-seamer and curveball. Patrick Sandoval had six Ks in five innings, giving up only one run, he, of course, had his changeup working, which is one of the best changeups in the league, but also his slider as well. Corbin Burns had nine strikeouts in seven innings, thanks to his cutter and sick breaking balls. Max Fried continued to be a big game pitcher, as I said yesterday. He had nine strikeouts, giving up only two runs, thanks to his fastball and beautiful curveball. I love watching Fried pitch in big games. Garrett Cole had his overpowering fastball working with these 100-mile-an-hour fastballs. He also mixed in his slider and knuckle curve. He had eight strikeouts in seven innings, giving up only one run. But he was outdueled by Christian Javier, who was absolutely brilliant. He had 13 strikeouts in seven innings and led the Astros to a combined no-hitter. His breaking ball was outstanding. His fastball, although not high velocity, was kind of an invisible ball. Hitters couldn't hit it. Just a stellar outing. And he was my best starting pitcher for yesterday. Now on to my relievers. John Schreiber had this White Castle special. Griffin Jacks caved the side with sliders, which is kind of a White Castle special. Ryan Helsley had this 100-mile-an-hour overpowering fastball. Kenley Jansen caved the side against his former team. And look at these vicious cutters. He also hit 98 miles an hour. Yeah, it was a ball and it bounced, but I don't remember the last time I saw Kenley Jansen hit 98. He was that amped up. I love it. Gregory Soto had his overpowering fastball and this mean 91 mile an hour slider. Devin Williams had his nasty airbender, and I love when the announcers use the term airbender because I came up with that. It never gets old. The airbender got him. Zach Pop had these insane 98 mile an hour sinkers. I mean, look at these things. And my filthiest reliever, cue the trumpets, was Edwin Diaz, who annihilated the side here. Just overpowering fastballs wicked sliders, and he even hit 103 miles an hour. He also had maybe the smoothest appeal of a hitter's swing I've seen. Just points to the umpire like, you know what to do. Diaz is a total electric factory. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Here's Nestor the Rester. What is up, Ninja Nation? My pick of the day would be for Jose Barrios to have eight or more strikeouts. Here's the current line on it. I know he struggled in his last outing, 
but I expect him to bounce back today, and when he's on, he can really rack up the Ks. So take a look at it. What would your pick of the day be?